Hi everybody. All right. At last, I'm going to do the little roundup of plugs. Um, I've done a little count up, <clears throat> and there's about 11 I want to go through. So this might go over a couple of videos. Um, I know someone before I said, "Well, why don't you make just one big log one?" Mm, well, I'm a bit reluctant to do that. It takes long enough to upload anyway. And I think, well, if it's in two parts, it's in kind of bite-sized chunks. And rather than someone feel they have to sort of stop the video halfway through, yeah, well, whatever. Anyway, um, I did a half a housekeeping again. I've got out. I am, of course, smoking a club. But as to which one, I'll mention that when we come across it. I've got, I'm surrounded by jars and packets here. Um, I did a video on plugs, one of my first four or five, eight, nine months ago. Um, it was just an introduction to plugs. And I was just, I say, at the time, debunking some myths about it. Because when one sees it, if you're new to smoking, you will always see for the experienced smoker or um, smoke with caution or various derivatives of that. So um, please go back and watch that video. I don't want to repeat it. It was quite a long one, as all mine are. Um, I don't want to go over old, old ground again on that one. So there will be some familiar ones on here, um, um, which I'll go over again. So this is not meant to be a review. I'm going to do a brief description of what the plug's made up of, although they're all fairly much of a muchness, really, in terms of what their composition is. Um, I'll just give a little idea of what the flavour is. These aren't in any order of rank, so I haven't put my favourite first, although um, I may mention what my favourites are as we go along. So, um, without further ado, let's start. Okay, I made a little list. I've done a little bit of preparation on this video, strangely enough. <laughs> so, uh, I don't know where to start really. Okay, let's start with, with you know, one I smoke regularly. And I should go back a bit and say, the reason for making this video is, um, while I was away from YouTube for four months, uh, I was smoking a lot of uh, plugs um, and experimenting with them. So there was a little, quite a lot I wanted to, tr to try. And I think I probably, well, no, I haven't quite exhausted them and I'll come on to that at the end. Um, so I wanted to just do a little round up as we were getting close to a dozen. Um, I, I will say I have included um, some a couple of cut plugs in this one. They are plugs after all. Okay, I'm not going to go uh, on, in this video about the preparation and cutting them because um, they all tend to be different really so I don't think there's one method and that may be a video I do in the future but there are plenty of videos about how to cut plugs out on YouTube already so again people are doing it much better than me so um, it's going to light up bear with me turn on pipe mm. sorry about the intrigue this is a very nice one is a um, common garden pipe I got years ago when I worked in London and it will do a little shape great for plugs mm. let's put that down for a moment and maybe like that later. Okay. Gotta get my camera angles right. Revo. Yes, I got quite a lot of that. So I to say that um yeah I quite like this one. And I I've got to say this is probably still my favourite, although there are a couple of close runners actually. Um as you see I've stocked up on that. It's, it's just got a really rich flavour. Um these are all, I think they say the plugs are all combined of like the choicest Virginias. All pressed, some baked, and, and left for weeks and weeks and weeks, some of them. Um, I think that's predominantly the underlying process for, for plugs. And Revor, um, Gareth and Hoggart make, I think it used to be called Manchester Plug years and years and years ago, I read somewhere. But um, flu and fire cured Virginias and Kentucky. Um, gorgeous, gorgeous plug. Is this a good one to start off with? Yeah. If you if you haven't tried plugs again, they are high on nicotine, and you know you'll you'll read that. 
but I think that's a really good one to, to, to start off with in terms of a really, really gorgeous Virginia rich flavour. Um, Reeve or plug, fantastic. So let's go into my next jar. As you see, I've got some little packets on here, and the next one I'm going to come up is um, Mick McQuaid's, I think this one is. I've, I must say, I've smoked several bowls of each one of these, so um, Mick, Mick McQuaid. Let's have a little packets there on that one. Quite neutral. Again, it comes in a plug, which expects it to do. Not giving off a great aroma actually this one, and this is what struck me when I first opened this. And I'm going to say, um, this is Virginia and Burley. I used to think way, way back that um, plugs were only choice Virginias pressed into this plug, or this big cake as I call it. But a lot of them will have a derivative now, either Kentucky or Burley. So this is a mixture of... Um, Virginia's and Burley. Not a strong flavour. I'm getting a little nuttiness to it, and I would expect that from the Burley in there. More of an almondy flavour, with a little bit of sweetness from the Virginia's. But otherwise, I, I found this one bland. I think the danger is I tend to compare everything to Reeve or Plug. Um, whether that's right or wrong again, I don't know. But I've tried to be detached, I've tried to be objective about this. So I've smoked them way apart. And I say I have smoked all of these several times. But again, um, I'm still fine. I'm not sure about this one. Again, I think it's perhaps the Burley in it. But my relationship with Burley is still undecided. <laughs> and I said in one video way, way back, I think it's always going to be. Um, I'll always be sitting on the fence on that one. So yeah, Mick, Mick McQuaid's. Um, not sure. Yeah, okay. So that's all jarred up on that one. What have we got next? Let's have a look. Uh, okay, oh, Warrior Plug. Now these are all ones readily available in the UK. Off, mm, well, I get a lot of mine from my smoking shop. They seem to do the greatest range of uh, tobaccos overall, really. They do, I do a lot of the plugs, so I get, I've got all mine from there, really. Um, now, again, this is a lovely, rich smell. Um, Almost like that shop you get, uh, smell you're getting a sweet shop when you're opening a jar of um, candy, I call it sweets, you know. Um, sugary, but with a tobacco taste in it as well. And this is actually rather nice. Now, Warrior is uh, by Murray's and Son. And again, it's Virginia and Burley. But I'm not sensing a lot of Burley in this one. Yeah. God, that really does smell lovely, yeah. Um, when smoking, quite sweet. Um, quite quite rich as well, but not as rich as as the Revor. Um, did I get that out of there? Oh, I might put this in with the brown bogey rum twist. The packet smells of rum, but um, so let's get that back in there. I've got to put those two together. So another one I would recommend is Warrior. Um, again, I've just I've done a check. I couldn't. Did I do a check on Warrior? Couldn't find anyone else who'd actually done any, a full review on that one. And so this video is not meant to be a review. Um, okay. One I showed in the video, I've had this for quite a while now. Um, three Ps. Peterson's Perfect Plug. When I first got into plugs, um, I would have thought that was one I went to first of all. Now, the reason I didn't for two reasons is having smoked a fair amount of Peterson's tobaccos or blends anyway I'm not really overwhelmed with them really I know they do a lot of aromatics um, I do like the Irish flake I do like the Irish whiskey or I do like old Dublin and that's probably about it although recently the <laughs> the nutty cut um, I've quite taken a fancy to as well but how many do they do 14 something like that and I've will regularly smoke four of them Second reason is that to call this a perfect plug just seemed the utmost arrogance. Disappointing for me, yeah. Um, again, I'm trying to detach this from the Revor, but this should be called the three Bs as far as I'm concerned. Burley, Burley, Burley. So if you like Burley, which I know a lot of you do, and you like plug, I would go for this one. Um, I've smoked four or five bowls of this one. 
and say I've kept it in the tin and I've just sort of put it into these little thick flakes. Again, smells very much like the Mick McQuaid, very little aroma coming out of it. A slight, a, a slight smokiness on that one. Um, again, which disappointed when I first opened the tin, but very, very dominant burly. Okay, so that's Peterson's 3P. Now then, um, this one is again from one of my favourite tobacconists, Gourtney's from Nottingham. And I did a video, I, men I mentioned it in a video some time ago, and I kind of gave it a bit of bad press, really. Um, but I, I bought a whole batch of tobaccos from Glen at the time, four or five, and I was going through. And I think because the other ones are so nice, uh, I kind of rushed through this one. I have revisited this. Um, now, Glyn has only described this as a mixture of English and Irish plugs, no more than that, so I don't know what the individual components of those are, obviously Virginia, but um, I don't know, there's probably some Kentucky in there, but as he says, um, it gives off a sort of smoky cigar taste. And it does, and I think I said that at the time, and I wasn't quite sure whether I liked it. But I don't think it's balanced enough, and I still say this, with the sweetness of the, the Virginia. Um, which, which, let's see, I'm just going to have a nice cup of coffee. I've just bought some more coffee beans, which I, I'm, I'm a bit of a coffee snob, I'll admit that. I don't drink instant. Oh, that's lovely. So, um... Yeah, what that reminds me of, and this is something I've only tried recently. Um, well, no, not the, the the unscented version. Is the Gareth and Hoggett's Dark Rum, sorry, Dark Plug. Now I've always had the Dark Plug Rum, which I smoke quite a lot, and I um, keep some for smoking on its own. But I tend to also blend that with a, a rather bland Virginia I get, like a Sherlock Holmes type thing, which, which I can smoke regularly and gives that lovely rum flavour. So it was only recently I bought the unscented dark plug. And that's kind of a complex thing. Um, there's some, I think it's dark, dark fired tobaccos from Brazil and Malawi. And then there's some flu cured from uh, India. Um, now that's, with the dark plugs, a very, very strong cigar taste to it. But with the Virginias that Sam and Gareth, or Gareth and Hogg put in there, is an overwhelming sweetness with that kind of cigar taste under it. And that is absolutely very strong. It's like a strong nicotine, but thick and, and smoky on the palate. But um, that's a really nice one. And this tends to be the same. So, you know, I don't know whether you've used some of that in there as part of your... Um, English plug. I don't know what Irish plug you mean. Perhaps um, what's the Murray's one? Warrior plug. Would that consider could be considered the Irish the Irish uh, plug that you mixed in there? So anyway, a uh, dark plug, but very very nice indeed. The rum one, yeah, it's fantastic. I'm a sucker for anything with rum in it. Okay, let's get on to the one I'm smoking now. Okay, this was a, a bit of a surprise. So this came in from left field for me, and I'm just going to light up here. How we do for time? Okay. I'm probably going to go over the 15 minutes, but okay, hey. Now, way back I did an exchange with the, an excellent man called Eric over in Germany. Um, I want a slight pause to say that he's a pipe maker, yeah, Pfeiffer and Sacha. Lives over in Saxony. We did an exchange because he wanted some uh, some Bruno's Flake, which I sent him with a few other things. Um, he was far more generous than me, I have to say, and I hope I said at the time. He sent me a huge amount of um, Motzak Strang, which I absolutely love as a vapour. But he also sent me this huge lump of um, called Pfeiffer Schilder, which is a plug. Um, there it is in there, okay? Which is a lot lighter. Um, and that just smelled like a normal Virginia. Um, and that's what it tastes like. It's got quite a unique flavour, and I know it. It does pack a punch, it's got a lot of nicotine in it, but it's unlike all the other plugs that 
do have a sort of similar underlying flavour to them. This one is just a straight, what I would call a, um, a bright Virginia. Although I think he describes it as um, dark Virginias with Burley, or Kentucky in it, sorry. I've lost his little note. I've looked on the uh, internet and Googled it, but I can't find anything. Mmm. Strong, peachy, leathery, as I describe. Good Virginia. But it just sweeps sweetness in it throughout. When I say leathery, I know I keep going on about that. People go, not a very flattering way of describing, but if it were leather, it would be a, a lovely, soft Italian leather. <laughs> okay, so i put that in the picture. Now I'll let this dry out. Mm, absolutely gorgeous. I don't smoke a lot of that because yeah, I can't get it, and um, I don't order from abroad. I don't have a credit card, so um, you know I don't want to keep asking Eric to keep sending me over. He's a lovely, lovely man, and he's made his first video where you can see him. So um, I mentioned him before. I'm probably going to put a little link to him below. It's, it's, it's all in German. Um, I'm watching a lot of German uh, YouTube presenters try to pick up my German. They speak very fast, so it's a slow process. Okay, what I mentioned recently. So I've been wanting to try for ages. GLP's jackknife plug. There's a great description on the side of it. Um, GLP's does that. Uh, a great um, blend of tobaccos. If you read it, I say, this is the first lot I've ever tried. And I bought some rubbed out ones that Glyn is actually stocking in Gauntley's now. But I've made a little note of it here. Um, I'll write it down. Uh, Red Virginias, flu-cured flu Golden Virginias, and Dark Fired Kentucky. Absolutely gorgeous, this stuff. It comes in these lovely little tufts which you can seal. So again, what I've done, because I'm smoking quite a lot of this, it's just broken it down. It's quite soft and pliable. So I've just broken it up. Yeah. It's not a pleasant smell out of the tub. It's got tangy, but you know, like most things, once fired up, oh, absolutely wonderful stuff. Sweet. Very much like Revor, I think. Um, so it's a close second. Uh, I think it's maybe the Kentucky, that slight nuttiness that it gives that I don't get from Revor, that perhaps it stops it pip pipping Revor at the post. But these are great because you can squeeze the air out of them and then keep them in the tubs there. So that's jackknife plug. Lovely, second to Revor. And again, the two others I want to cover, readily available, most sites will do these. Um, oops are Boson Cut Plug and Coniston Cut Plug. They are essentially plugs. They've got a full of nicotine, they have that familiar flavour, they're just cut. It's safe you cut them yourselves. Or they're quite coarse cut really. And now the slight difference between the two of them is that, and I've written this down because they've actually given percentages here. Which one of the two I prefer? Hmm, I think the Boson Cut one definitely I go for more. Um, Hence I've got the bigger jar of it and I've just restocked some of that one. Now the Boson Cut, it's got 50% Virginias uh, from Brazil and Zimbabwe. Uh, Malawi fire cured and some dark fire from India. And it's also flavoured with cloves and geranium they say. And that is, that's a bloody nice smoke that one. Because it's rubbed out, I tend not to treat it as a, as a plant. But um, it is, it's quite strong, gives you the whirlies if you're not used to it. Okay. Now the Coniston Cut plug, it's little sister. Again, both of these, Gareth and Hoggart, is 75% dark fired, and I think again from Malawi, and 12.5% burley. So again, the smaller jar, it's got the burley, but I don't get that dominant. Okay, um, I suspect that's been fairly boring. Um, I just want to do an update on my quest. Now, have I tried all the plugs available, or readily available to me? No. There are six others which are eluding me, which I want to try. And all of those are made by Gowarth, uh, Samuel Gowarth. Um, they do a full Virginia plug, a Cannon plug, which is, um, now these are all based, I believe, all based on Best Brown, but Cannon plug is then enhanced with like a honeydew flavour. A Cobb plug, which is a plug from a 1792 flake, oh, which is one of my top five. Uh, grouse Moor. Now I'm going to do a little video separately at some point in the future about Grouse Moor. Um, a Kendall, which is just pure Virginia's again, and I like I love Kendall Flake. And they do one called RB Plug. 
which is an aromatic version of it. Now, there's only one site I know, okay, so my smoking shop does them, but they do each one of these in a minimum of 250 grams. That's 52 quids worth of backy. That's a big pack they're coming now. Um, I'm just going to write them and say, you know, can you do some smaller samples so I can try them out? Because that's a hell of a lot of money for me to try them out. So these ones are on my list to try. You know, if I can't get them in many small lumps than that, then I won't be trying them. But I am intrigued, you know, full Virginia plug and a cob plug, which is based on 1792. <sighs> Tempting, isn't it? So I'm going to leave it at that, guys. Um, I'm on the 20 minutes. It's the longest video I've ever done. So it's probably going to take ages to upload. I hope it hasn't been too boring. Um, I kind of rushed through it because I got halfway through that and I thought, oh, I don't really want to do two. So um, I've made a list of other videos I want to make. So I'll hopefully get those at some point during the week. Although I'm not going to make any promises because I said I'd do this video last week and you know, life transpired, it didn't come to it. So happy smoking. Um, see you soon. And I'm going to catch up with some of your videos uh, later on that I've been notified are coming through. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.